What's up? I'm Noah from Techno Buffalo. You may have seen the other video already. It's funny because I'm shooting these at the same time, so I don't know which one's going to go up first. doesn't matter. T-Mobile sent us one, two of their new Android cell phones. The HTC MA is 4G. Does anyone even say cell phone anymore? Their new phones, their new smartphones, their super phones. And the Samsung Galaxy S2. We started on the left, which means it's now time for the one on the right. Alright, so Sprint got theirs, AT&T got theirs, Verizon didn't get theirs, and apparently uh, they're not getting their special extra fancy Nexus Prime next week like we all thought they were. The Samsung Unpacked event for October 11th at CTA has been postponed. But whatever, T-Mobile got theirs. It's the Galaxy S2, the T-Mobile variant, um, also offering a giant screen like the Sprint version, a 4.52 inch WVGA monster of a display. This one is available for pre-order beginning October 10th and is expected to be in T-Mobile stores beginning October 12th. $229.99 on contract after rebate. Uh, and along with the Amaze 4G, which was featured there in the opening, um, one of T-Mobile's first, T-Mobile USA's first HSPA Plus 42 devices, uh, theoretically supporting the full 42 megabits per second down network, although you're not going to get 42 using this thing in the U.S., that's for sure. Anyway, in the box, you get the phone, you get $10 worth of credit for Samsung Media Hub. All right. Uh, terms and conditions, start guide, all that good stuff. You get a uh, power adapter, USB cable, and your headphones. Écouteur. Avec. Les pièces, the ears, your uh, earpieces, a couple different sizes there. Phone itself, much like the Sprint variant in terms of uh, just kind of overall look and feel. Uh, again, the 4.52 inch display, absolutely giant, Super AMOLED, 800 by 480. Kind of interesting, kind of weird that they didn't up the resolution uh, for a screen this big, but the Super AMOLED. Still looks really nice. We'll skip through this stuff for now. You can see the 4G network already connecting. Very thin, very lightweight. It's got that weird little chin on the bottom like the other Galaxy S2s. But uh, just very, very lightweight phone. Kind of in contrast to the HTC I was just playing with. You know, this one. Uh, HTC has like a solid kind of heft to it. I like to use the car analogy. It's like a, like a Mercedes, like a German car. You shut the door and it's a big thunk. And it's made for cruising the Audubon, you know, it's rock solid at 200 miles an hour, but it's not, you know, maybe the, the super best handling phone or handling car. Uh, whereas these Samsungs are like, you know, just lightweight and blazing and ready to go. And, uh, you know, more like, I don't know, like a, uh, a Nissan GTR. Maybe I've never ridden in a GTR, but something like that. Anyway, uh, you get a, a big uh, horsepower to pounds ratio, I guess. I'm going to stop with the car metaphors. Uh, the phone is powered by a dual-core Snapdragon S3 processor. It's not a Samsung uh, Exynos processor, if I pronounce that correctly, but instead a Snapdragon S3 1.5 gigahertz dual-core processor. Uh, the tear sheet says it's running Android uh, 2.3.5. Let's just um, let's double check that. Android version 2.3.5. There you go. So the very newest version of Android to date. Uh, comes preloaded with a bunch of stuff that you might like or you might hate, um, including Netflix, including Samsung Media Hub, including T-Mobile TV, including Telenav, the familiar uh, Samsung TouchWiz user interface there on top. It's you know it's lighter weight than it used to be. I don't I don't uh, mind it as much, and some of it actually looks kind of cool. Here's this bonus app thing, this T-Mobile thing again, you know, is it extra features, is it bloatware? I don't know, but there's this widget on the number 5 home screen telling me about uh, Stack of Radio and Double Twist and all these things that I can download if I so choose. Taking a tour around the phone, we've got uh, the four capacitive touch buttons on the front, your uh, standard Android button set, a front-facing camera, 2 megapixel front facing camera. On the back, 8 megapixel camera with LED flash, autofocus, and full 1080p video capture. 
uh, screen that likes to say hi to my palm and uh, fire things up apparently. A uh, USB port on the bottom, micro USB, which is also compatible with what's called an MHL adapter if you want to do HDMI out. So get your Netflix or your Samsung Media Hub or your T-Mobile TV, HDTV content out of here and onto the big screen if you want to. Uh, you also get, let's see, take a tour around the phone. On the right spine, there's your power lock switch. On top, 3.5mm headphone jack. On the right spine, rocker switch. I like this, uh, this gray, this kind of dark metallic gray finish. And then the textured finish on the back. A little bit of a very slightly rubbery, grippy coating. Feels pretty nice. Uh, if you're going to go plastic, you know, this is actually kind of a, a nice take on plastic. But uh, in contrast, again, to the Amaze 4G, which I just unboxed, fewer buttons, fewer controls, that kind of thing. Uh, it's lighter weight, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just, I don't know. These, these, uh, I had the Epic Touch, was reviewing that, and uh, really did not notice the weight in my hand, despite the giant footprint, because the phone is so thin that uh, 0.37 inches thick, or thin, if you will, weighs 4.77 ounces. You know, you really just, you don't notice it any more than a smaller phone carrying it around, or at least I didn't. Uh, what else can I tell you? You've got all the stuff you expect on a current top-of-the-line gingerbread phone. 16 gigs of onboard memory, expandable to 48 with a micro SD card slot. Uh, 1850 milliamp hour battery pre-installed. Again, it supports the HSP PA uh, 42. You're probably not going to get 42. T-Mobile officially says average speeds of 8, peak speeds up to 22. So, uh, you know, if you're in, it, t it tends to work well for me uh, when I'm in good range. This office that I'm recording in right now, uh, noted for not having the best coverage. So I'm going to have to do some speed tests elsewhere where things are a little more solid. But I've been impressed with T-Mobile's network since they upgraded to the H HSPA+. So there you go. Quick tour, quick unboxing. I say quick. I'm probably at the 15 minute mark already of the Galaxy 2 oh, for, oh, also this has NFC. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's got NFC for, uh, you know, when everybody ditches their wallets and starts paying for stuff with their cell phones. We'll see if and when that happens in the U.S. Anyway, there you go. First look, the Galaxy S2 for T-Mobile. Again, available October 12th in stores, October 10th for pre-order. $229.99 on contract. Uh, comes out the same days as the Amaze 4G for HTC. Both are Android gingerbread phones built to take advantage of Timo's HSPA 42 network. Thanks to T-Mobile for lending us the Galaxy S2. Much, much more on all the new phones, all the stuff going on in San Diego next week at CTIA on Techno Buffalo. Till next time, my name's Noah. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.